suddenly, and it really has been a sudden process, rapes are being linked together and solved. New police and forensic techniques are making it possible to return to cases that can be decades old. And we now go back to 1987 and at least five attacks over a 20-month period. They happened in Portsmouth in Hampshire. Did the rapist stop then or did he move on and find new victims elsewhere? Even though it has been 10 years, you don't forget. You push it deep down, but it will come back. Some triggers are off and the memory comes back. 12 years ago, at the time when the new Portsmouth motorway was being built, a 17-year-old went to Hilsey Ramparts to feed her horse. As she was leaving the field, she was dragged off her moped and raped. She was so traumatised, she was unable to give a description of her attacker. Ten months later, the week before Christmas in Portsmouth Centre, a victim now in her 20s, then a child of 13. I'd actually finished my paper round and um, before we finish it around we always have to come back to the shop and bring our newspaper bags back. I noticed someone in the alleyway and he was in um, a doorway and I saw him flick his cigarette down to the floor. We did have a workman's jacket on, a distinctive big jacket. I got some brilliant tips and loads of cards, look, much more than last year. I had my hands full with cards, so it was more difficult for me to, to control my bike. I was just three quarters of the way down the alley. I, I didn't notice the, the man again in the doorway, and I do remember looking. His grip on her face was like iron, as though he knew what he was doing. I can remember this rough hand and smell of alcohol, the smell of cigarettes. I couldn't take his hand away from my mouth to shout, to scream. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything because he held me so tightly. Can I go now? Can I go home now? And I just said, please don't hurt me, don't kill me. And he punched me in the face. And he just said, be quiet, be quiet. And I knew then it would hurt me if I didn't do what he said. Turn round. Turn round properly. That's right. How long are you going to stay there for? Forever. That's right. You stay there. If the rapist wasn't local, he certainly knew where to take his victim. This old air raid shelter is hidden away behind London Road. A few weeks later, and from a child victim to an adult. This time she was ambushed at the scene of an earlier rape at Hilsey Ramparts. Although I moved away from the centre of the path, I continued my brisk pace and tried to ignore him, but he moved swiftly in front of me and literally stopped me in my tracks. He grabbed hold of my right arm just above my wrist with his left hand, and I then felt him touching my stomach with what I was certain was a knife. You all right to carry on, love? Once you've checked your witness statement, I'll get you home, all right? At that point, I can recall hearing what I thought was a police siren coming from the M27. I then screamed as hard as I could twice. <coughs> I would describe my attacker as follows. 34 years, late 30s, six foot tall, athletic build, mid-brown wavy hair, his face was oval shaped. His eyes were almond-shaped and a grey-brown in colour. When he bent down to kiss me, I felt some stubble on his face. He smelt of alcohol. Was he a construction worker, a builder or labourer of sorts? Does he always have a knife? Does he punch his wife or girlfriends in the face? And ten years ago, why wasn't he at work at two o'clock on a Monday afternoon in summer? This time his intended victim was a mother with her children on a rural lane near Portsdown Hill. This time, even though he had a knife, she managed to fight him off. And this time, he had a car. All we know about it is it was dark metallic blue. Four months later, his victim this time was age 14. That night I was with one of my friends and she walked me halfway home. She always done that. I was stood there for about five, ten minutes having the chat. Just a normal night really, I went to say goodbye. When I turned around, saw someone behind, 
I thought at first it was a woman in a dress. I think I was hoping it was a woman. Come here. It was quite a big man because the size of his hands when he put them in my mouth covered most of my face. Put it out of your head. He brought me round to the car. I remember it to me being navy. I wanted to keep the shit over my face. I said, cover your head up. Where'd you live? Little six. Is there a light out there? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've been there a couple of times. I remember there were some boots under the car seat. They seemed to be like workman's boots because they were either covered in either mud or paint, something hard. I remember there being some sort of seat belt. It was black, it had a red stripe. When the car had stopped, I knew he was going to do something to me. I was really frightened, just wanting to be with my family. He eventually dropped me off at Purbrook. Come on in. Put that coat over your head. Come on. Keep that coat over your head till I've gone. Pitch had a terrifying set of attacks yeah. suddenly stopped all in Portsmouth 10, 11, 12 years ago. People must remember somebody who fits the description who was violent from that time. Well, we're looking for a very, very violent man. Very vicious, ruthless attacks on a 13 and 14 year old girl, particularly, who were viciously, physically assaulted and then sexually assaulted. I would urge anyone that's listening to the program tonight to ring in, particularly if they can recollect from 11 years ago, meeting someone either casually or they may have known him intimately and recognising the pattern of violence we've seen there tonight. I would urge him to ring in. Okay, or a prison officer, why did he stop? Is he in prison? Wherever he went, anybody who recognises that pattern of violence, anyone who was attacked during that period hasn't yet come forward. Please call us. We've uh, got an idea of what he would look like now. Was this your friend or your workmate, your boyfriend, your husband, someone who 11, 12 years ago was in Portsmouth? Call even if anonymously. Forensic easily eliminates innocent people. 0500 600 600. And if you're still having difficulty with getting an engaged tone, another number on this case, also a free phone, 0800 389 6390. That's 0800 389 6390.